Are you having trouble with organizing or connecting your ideas? Do you feel confused, unmotivated, and stressed while learning? Well, I think someone might help you. Meet David Paul Ozubel. He is an American psychologist who was born in New York. David Ozubel proposed ways of improving the manner of teaching and he suggested the use of graphic organizers. Through these ways, he strongly believed that learners will be able to understand concepts, principles, and ideas more easily. Moreover, according to Azubel, knowledge is hierarchically organized, that new information is meaningful to the extent that it can be related, attached, anchored, to what is already known. His ideas are contained in his theory of meaningful verbal learning. The meaningful verbal learning theory of Azubel is also called subsumption theory. It is an investigation and explanation of how a learner learns, mostly by linking new knowledge to previously learned information and concepts. And, most importantly, to ensure meaningful teaching, it is necessary to avoid rote memorization of facts. Students need to manipulate ideas actively. This graphic organizer will be the flow of Azubel's verbal learning theory, or subsumption theory. Azubel's theory focuses on the following. First, cognitive structure, which is the most important factor influencing learning, is the quantity, clarity, and organization of the learner's present knowledge. Secondly, advanced organizers, which strengthen the student's cognitive structure by allowing students to have a bird's eye view to see the big picture of the topic before going to the details. Lastly, subsumption. During meaningful learning, the person subsumes, organizes or incorporates new knowledge into old knowledge. Here's the purpose of Azubel's theory. It helps introduce a new lesson, unit, or course. It helps summarize major ideas in new lessons or units. It is based on a student's prior knowledge. It shows similarities between old and new material. It allows students to transfer or apply knowledge. It provides structure for new information. It helps teach complex material that is similar to information learned previously. Let us proceed to the four processes for meaningful learning. First, derivative subsumption. It describes the situation in which the new information you learn is an example of a concept that you have already learned. Second, correlative subsumption. It is when you add new details to what you already know, usually a higher order concept. Third, superordinate learning. It means you are already familiar with the thing, but didn't know the concept itself until it was taught. A new concept is learned under which already established ideas can be subsumed. Fourth, combinatorial learning. It is when the newly acquired knowledge combines with prior knowledge to enrich the understanding of both concepts. You can think of this as learning by analogy. Now, let us move on to advanced organizers. It is used to present information so that you can better understand and remember the information you are learning. Note that an advanced organizer is not a summary or review of a previous lesson. Instead, it provides a structure for student thinking. These are the types of advanced organizers. First, graphic organizers are visuals to set up or outline the new information like pictographs, concept patterns, and concept maps. Second, narrative that presents the new information in the form of a story. Third, skimming which is done by looking over the new material to gain a basic overview. And lastly, expository that describes the new content. For application of principles, the most general ideas of the subject should be presented first and then progressively differentiated in terms of detail and specificity. Progressive differentiation to increase the stability and clarity of anchoring ideas. Encourage learners to apply previously acquired knowledge by giving activities about making advanced organizers. Include both receptive and discovery-based activities. While receptive online activities help learners acquire and retain new information, discovery-based activities allow them to understand how information can be applied in different situations and contexts. Make it meaningful. By integrating problem-solving online activities that focus on past experiences and integrating stories that trigger their emotions. As a conclusion, using Azubel's subsumption theory in teaching will help the learners in organizing their knowledge, thoughts, and ideas.